Hi there guys, I'm Bo Lorenzen, the FPV guy, and I'm here with my friend Val today. And if you followed me, you know I've been flying drones with spherical cameras. And normally we have, you hang it underneath the drone and then you patch out the top of it. So Insta360 made a camera, it's called the Sphere. And what it does is it's a belt you strap around an Air 2 and it looks up and it looks down. And I did that a couple of times and the problem is when it flies forward, even though it stitches, you get like this optical wobble in the image. And you built this thing, may I pick this up? Sure. Is it safe? It's yours. Oh, I'm so afraid. I'm terrified of breaking this, but I did fly it today <laughs> and it's easier than it looks and way harder than I was afraid it was gonna happen. <laughs> but let's see what 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 Val did and how we got to know each other was a couple of years ago when everybody else was flying quads, he decided to fly hair dryers. <laughs> and I don't know, you just couldn't afford quads? I couldn't. <laughs> and so what he did was, of course not hair dryers, but he got into flying doctored EDFs stood on end and he's somewhat of an expert in mono fan designs where at the bottom he manages the direction of the exhaust to stabilize and fly the drone as I'll play some of that video in the background here because the video of him flying was really good the video of me flying he had to run and catch it before it crashed <laughs> so yeah that's that's a little uh, embarrassing that's, that's not that's not very uh, just so it's your first time and it's windy it, <sighs> It's not as windy as he claims, but he's really good at making people feel good about things. So what I was complaining was, here is the camera, the Sphere 360. This comes up here on a normal drone. It actually looks like a Starfighter with an R2-D2 on the back. <laughs> and then we have the other camera down the bottom here. So his solution is we're flying it this way. So now you have a camera going forward in the direction of interest. So you do not have any stitch lines. It's like you're making an establishing shot on a house or down a street or in the forest. You're getting a shot without stitch lines because we're putting the stitch lines on the side of the footage, basically. There's still stitch lines, but one of these days they'll make a 360 camera and it looks all the way around. It was actually Bo's idea, right? Oh, it was to, to just fly it vertically, so I just tried to come up with a solution to the request well so what so my my first suggestion was can we just stab this around one of your fans and this looks like a little bit more than a fan uh -huh. so what did you do so what we did here I just wanted to make sure that we can get everything all the hardware out of the vision of the camera and the camera is like 200 grams and you have the battery and the fans usually pull out of uh, uh, power so you need a chunky battery to fly EDFs. So what I wanted to do is, uh, if we were gonna try to do it with one fan, that fan wasn't gonna fit in this ring of this uh, camera. And not, I really, not while giving us the force the, 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 we the force that we need, unless we get into the view of the camera with a larger fan or something like that. So what we did here, we just lined up these two fans to stay out of the view of the cameras, and uh, it gives us enough 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 thrust, and uh, it actually it is normally a pretty stable design, but of course, trying to fit stuff in a tight area uh, is a little bit challenging from time to time. So it flies okay. If it wasn't this windy today, um, uh, so yeah, we just basically packed it in a small package that's just gonna stay out of the wheel and just uh, put two thrust vectoring nozzles and uh, differential thrust for roll uh, and the thrust vectoring nozzles for the pitch and the yaw uh, so you are you are changing the rpms rpm for to, the roll yeah to roll it yeah to roll it it's the rpms and for yaw and pitch 
it's basically the thrust the vector uh, the ducts. Yeah. And I noticed you put a little counter yeah. on Both. each side to, yeah. because I noticed, I thought you were going to run these two yeah. counter rotating, but they are rotating the same yeah. way. It's very hard to find 64 millimeter cart rot counter rot rotating uh, fans. So it's usually, it used to be, I'm not tracking it too closely anymore, but you can do it with the same way rotating fans and just counter rotate it with veins that are in there yeah yeah and that's what i did uh it's a design that i did before i just adapted it to to this insta camera basically uh and you know some of the parts most of the parts had to be modified but uh the design was already it was a tried and proven design basically. which which was obviously because it flew pretty good today I, I can't wait to go home and stitch this and we're gonna put it up of course in 360 <laughs> so you guys can put on a vr headset and check it out <laughs> yep hopefully yeah i'm looking forward to see boss <laughs> i'm uh, I, I just gave him the, the mission man he's gonna have to fly it. that's it <laughs> you you are too nice and you know i'm terrified because this is so much stuff the good thing is it just can be printed again so it's all 3d print pretty got much a lot of stuff that you can stl and hit print <laughs> yeah more parts so if it breaks we print it wow so there you have it this valve's designed to make to improve how to fly an insta 360 sphere and now you guys in california give me a call if you want Valve's phone number because <laughs> You guys need to make one of these and sell it with two cameras on. You know that. <laughs> so if you like this, whatever you do, don't subscribe. Don't click like. <laughs> Just go away and there'll be more videos another day. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Awesome. I was going to say, go fly, but it's, the wind is not playing with us. <laughs>